Hello guys, welcome to the HLA channel. My name is Gustavo, I worked in a HLA laboratory for more than 14 years. And now I'd like to share with you some of the news from the HLA world. We have now available a new way to do HLA typing. After the revolution with Illumina sequencers, I believe that nanopore technologies will be the new revolution in our HLA laboratories. It is fast, portable, simple and cheap. And the results are good enough to use in any kind of transplant. This is the Minion, the sequencer from Oxford Nanopore Technologies. As you can see, it is totally portable. The flow cell is attached to the Minion and it is re re <laughs> reusable. You can use the same flow cell many many times for sequencing. But how does Nanopore work? Let's see it briefly. In this technology, protein nanopores are embedded into a synthetic membrane, bathed in an electrophysiological solution, and an ionic current is passed through the nanopores. As molecules such as DNA or RNA move through the nanopores, they cause disruption in the current. This signal can be analyzed in real time, to determine the sequence of bases in the strands of DNA or RNA, passing through the pore. During sequence, the nanopore analyzes the entire fragment of DNA or RNA that is presented to it, so the read length is directly related to the length of the DNA or RNA in the sample that has been prepared. Long reads provide a more unambiguous approach to mapping a DNA or RNA sequence, enabling a much simpler assembly. So, one of the benefits of typing HLA by nanopore is reducing considerably the ambiguities. Other benefits Low costs you buy equipment and reagents with minimal investment. Simple workflow compared to Illumina Short with NGS. Three fields high resolution results. Quick protocol. In less than six hours, you do everything. And if you are doing only one sample, you can do the whole process from sample to results in less than five hours. And here is another great advantage of Nanopore. Now you have available a high resolution test for deceased donors. You can type the donors and perform a virtual cross match, saving time and costs if you find a DSA pos positive result. But you can use Nanopore also for urgent typing, confirmatory typing or a small series of samples. Don't you believe we can perform a high resolution HLA test in less than 5 hours? From the sample to results? So I will show it to you now. You will see the protocol for one sample, from the beginning to the end, as it was developed by Omicson. And you will see how fast it is. Let's go! To start the protocol, you need to dilute your DNA sample to a concentration of 20 nanograms per microliter. The PCR is done by mixing the following reagents, all of them provided by the vendor, except water. PCR buffer, DNTP mixture, multi-primer mix, PCR enzyme, and water. The reaction is done using 10 microliters of DNA and 15 microliters of the PCR master mix. Amplification takes about 2 hours and 45 minutes in a Veriti thermocycler. This is the longest step in the protocol. After that, it will take only about 1 hour to finish the protocol and 1 hour more to sequence the sample. After amplification is finished, you need to quantify your DNA. This is made using a qubit device, or a Qantas device. But it is essential you quantify the amplicon by using a fluorescent method. Prepare your reaction according to the vendor's instructions. The result will be used to dilute the amplicon to a concentration of 200 nanograms. A workbook helps you with the calculation, and dilution is made with water. 
Onyxon provides a workbook to help the user during the whole process. This workbook helps us to dilute the DNA to a concentration of 20 nanograms per microliter, microliter and to dilute the amplicon to a concentration of 200 nanograms. You can do that by just mixing the amplicon with water, according to the workbook calculation. The next step is to add the barcodes from Nanopore. Add 2.5 microliters of the fragmentation mix from the rapid barcode plate to the PCR tube containing the diluted amplicon. This is a very quick step. It takes only two minutes in the thermocycler. Be prepared to continue the protocol after that. Add one microliter of rapid adapter reagent from Nanopore to the library. Incubate at room temperature for five minutes. The library is ready to be sequenced. Guys, as you could see, the protocol has basically only four steps. Amplification, amplicon quantitation, barcodes, and hept barcodes. And it is simple and easy. The barcode mix is ready for use. No need to prepare a mix. Just add the barcodes into the DNA sample. Two minutes on the thermocycle and it is done. Rapid adapter is only one reagent. Again, you just need to add it to into the library. And five minutes of incubation. The very last step is to prepare the min ion device to receive the library. To do that, you need to prime the flow cell and prepare the library mix. To prepare the flow cell priming mix, add 30 microliters of the flush tether FLT to 1.17 milliliters of flush buffer FB. Load 800 microliters of the priming mix into the flow cell via the priming port. Incubate for 5 minutes. Then, load 200 microliters of the priming mix into the flow cell, via the priming port, but this time with the spot on port open. During the incubation, prepare the library for loading, by following these steps. In a 1.5 milliliters tube, prepare the library mix by adding the following reagents. Water. Sequencing buffer 2, SB2. Loading beads 2, LB2 And the DNA library Add the 75 microliters library to the flow cell via the spot on sample port in a dropwise fashion Start the run in Minno software The sequencing takes 1 hour and the results can be analyzed in the software By the way, there are two videos in the channel on how to prime the flow cell and how to wash the flow cell. You can follow the links in the description for more details. The analysis is very simple. There are no interns, but it doesn't af affect the results. There is still a three field high resolution result, which, which is enough for kidney or and bone marrow transplantation, or any transplant. The software gives all the quality parameters needed for troubleshooting. Even the report from the Minion sequencer is full of details, making the analysis robust and trustful. In this video, you could see a very quick way to do HLA typing in high resolution. With this protocol, which takes less than 5 hours from sample to results, you can do HLA typing for deceased donors in high resolution and do urgent tests in your laboratory. What did you think about this protocol and the utility of this new product? If you have any questions or comments, please leave your comments in the comment sessions. I would love to see your thoughts here, and I invite you to see the video My Fice Life, 
where I tell the story about a demonstration of nanotype in a countryside in Brazil. See you next time! Bye bye!